The Texas government has three branches, legislative, executive, and judicial, which are all in the Texas Constitution. Article 3 talks about the legislative branch. Let's take a look. The legislative branch makes laws. The legislative branch has two parts, the Texas House of Representatives and the Texas Senate. There are 150 legislators in the House of Representatives. Each represents the citizens in their district. There are 150 districts, so one representative per district. Each serve a term of two years, and then they may run for re-election. There are 31 senators in the Senate. Each represents the citizens in their district. That means there are, you guessed it, 31 districts. Each serve a term of four years, and then they may run for re-election. Their terms are staggered, so every two years, half of the Senate seats are up for re-election. The national government takes a census every 10 years, and the districts for both chambers must be redrawn to make certain that each district is approximately equal in population. In both the House and the Senate, there's a presiding officer. The Speaker of the House is a member chosen by the entire House to serve as the presiding officer of the House of Representatives. The lieutenant governor is elected in a statewide election and is the presiding officer of the Senate. Both appoint most of the members of committees, including the head of the committee, named the chair, and they assign upcoming bills to the appropriate committees. Each committee handles different things like transportation, education, agriculture, and so on. Since the Speaker of the House is also an elected representative, he or she can vote like all the other members. But the Lieutenant Governor can only vote in the Senate if there is a tie, because he or she is an elected official of the executive branch. Legislators not only make the laws for Texas, but also create and approve a budget to run the state government, propose amendments to the Texas Constitution, and impeach executive and judicial officers for high crimes and misdemeanors. Legislators meet every two years, or biennially, in odd number years only. The term begins on the second Tuesday in January and lasts only 140 days, or about four and a half months. The short time makes them a citizen legislator. That means they make the laws and then they go home to live under these laws and most of the time have another job. The governor can call a special session which can last up to 30 days. The governor has sole control over what issue or issues can be addressed in the special session. If the legislature cannot complete the work in 30 days, the governor can continue to call as many special sessions as is necessary. The coolest part about the Texas legislature is it's part of a representative democracy, which means someone represents you so you don't have to vote on every single Texas law, but you still get to participate in the lawmaking process by keeping in touch with your legislators, testifying before committees on matters that are important to you, and voting for legislators who will best represent you. Thank you.